day with a meeting, believe it or not. I don't think you'll guess with who, but we'll see. What's up ladies and gentlemen? Good morning, I hope you're enjoying your day. Thus far, Jason and I are having a blast. Actually, I actually made him $21 today. <laughs> Tell him about that. He lost 21 bucks on the ground, and I saw it from inside the cafe. Yeah. A, a penny saved is a penny earned, you know that. Or, or $21 seen by 3D machines is, you know, 21 bucks in your pocket. When I dug into my pocket and the 21 bucks wasn't there and all I ordered was a cup of coffee, I felt kind of guilty paying for a cup of coffee with a credit card. <laughs> We're in 2018, I think everybody does that. We're gonna try to take this thing out for a rip. I said yesterday if we get 20,000 likes on yesterday's video with 2,000 comments that we'd take this for a rip. So we already went ahead and got the trailer. We've already tightened up the axle nuts. CV axles are in. Yesterday you also saw that all four tires move throughout the gears, no grinding, no spits or spatters so far. The braking was kind of still, you know, the braking sounded like every off-road machine when you first take it out for the first 100 yards. It's just cr scratchy and rusty and crusty. <laughs> We're gonna take this thing out for its first rip, like not completely together. We're gonna just see that it works, it goes to the gears, it can, we can have a little fun. Teamwork makes dream work. Jason's been working on putting this thing back together. While he's been doing that, I've been playing surgeon over here. Fix that crack. We're probably gonna end up trimming that there and trimming it here, and then maybe have a piece of metal, whether it be aluminum or steel, in the front here. So we got a bead of a problem. Ah, <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> we got a tire that's uh, it's screwy. We put it under my truck. My truck weighs what does it weigh? Like six thousand pounds? Yeah, almost seven. About yeah, somewhere around there. Um, we put that under this truck. Still didn't break the beads, so now we're gonna go over to Chris's and see if he can uh, remove this bead for us. He's got a bead breaker. He's got like a legit garage bead breaker. Bead breaker. Try saying that three times fast. The truck what? The truck sounds different. Does it sound good or bad? I don't know. It sounds like. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, that's what we needed. No, we timed it one day. We did them in under a minute apiece. So we went from four tires in 30 seconds to a minute apiece. Sometimes you exaggerate thinking this is America. That's like times eight. <laughs> this is America. That's like times eight or something. I, mean, I was never good. We use the standard system. It doesn't, anything we do doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Seven eights, 13 sixteenths. What? Hey Dalton, go get me a wrench. What size you need? 37 64. <laughs> yeah, right? Now <laughs> well, the comment section will agree to that. Okay, now we're gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> you think what? Oh, well, I just lost the uh. No. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> One time, Dalton was running hand back to Florida. He, done he done it. He's done it too. Right from my house. <laughs> awesome. It's a tire. Chevy thing. Same tire too. Yep. It was pretty sweet though. I, kept, I rode it out for like 50 yards. <laughs> it, trust me, it's a little worse like when you're going 85 miles an hour. On the interstate. On the interstate. <laughs> Jeepers! We have this thing back together. Well, actually together because when I bought it, it wasn't together, so. First time ever, we have the dash in. We have our little head to toe safety checklist. Always following the guidelines. First time ever turning the key on with a complete machine. Clock even works. 
Do the guys even fix the time on this thing? We need fuel, and then we're ready to rock and roll. He's, he's also checking the tire pressures. Well, we know the brakes work, so if I throw it into gear and it starts going without me. You're gonna fall off. I'm gonna fall off? Yeah. No, hang on, hang on, no, no, no. I don't like. You guys, I'm I'm really sorry. You guys aren't nearly disappointed though as Jason because Jason is completely ticked off. Show show the viewers what what you did in prep for the ride, the first ride ever. <laughs> Got your roll of plastic. He put he brought that so he wouldn't get all muddy. He was all prepared to find out the clutch is shot the first ten feet. I'm I'm sorry. I should have. I really should have checked that. <laughs> but I'm glad we discovered that before we went out into the woods because then we'd really be then it would have got muddy Then we'd have to wash it and invest more time into it Now we just know that we got to get a clutch for this thing getting down into a valley would really suck <laughs> Then you'd be done you'd have to get something really you couldn't use a regular four-wheeler because it doesn't have enough weight This weighs way more. It's like 1500 pounds a average four-wheeler weighs anywhere here from 300 to like 600 pounds I got the clutch material on there. See all that? Yeah. Two shot. Okay. All right, what were our three things that we came up with for who owns this machine? We came up with whose machine this really is. Due to the fact that the guy who was a welder, he ripped the hell out of this thing. The tie rod. CV axles, this guy knew how to ride, or maybe didn't know how to ride. But also is a hulk, because as you saw, we had to use a sludge, basically, to get the freaking bolts off. So there's only one good explanation for that. Chuck Norris owned this machine. And that's it, that's all I can come up with. <laughs> 